Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in the subject data structures was abstract data type. So I already said abstract data type is uh, the another name for the data structures. Abstract data type is a mathematical model of data structures. It describes a container which holds a finite number of objects. So a de abstract data type describes a container. So it's just called as a container which holds a finite number of objects. A finite number of objects are stored in this abstract data type where the object may be associated to a given binary relationships. And here the abstract data type is concerns only with what the data is represented. It's just focus on what, what the data is represented and not with how it will be constructed. So it doesn't want the uh, implementation of that uh, data type. It just wants uh, what the data is represented, whether it holds the flat, uh, float, float amount of data or integer. So the range it is, uh, think about that range, what the data is represented and not with how it will be constructed. It is a set of objects and operations. The abstract data type consists of set of objects as well as operations like list, insert, delete, search, sort. So these are all the different types of operations that we can perform on the data. Abstract data type consists of following three parts. Main it consists of data, operations and if any errors are occur, it displays the errors. Whereas data describes the structure of data used in abstract data types so data describes the structure of data used in abstract data type whereas coming to the operations operation describes the valid operations for abstract data type so here data is about the structure of data and operation is uh, think about the valid operations for the abstract data type and coming to the errors it describes how to deal with the errors that can occur so these are the three parts that this abstract data type consists of. Now coming to the advantages of using the abstract data type. Abstract data type is a reusable and ensures robust data structure. So that is the first point. And also it reduces the coding efforts. So if you use the concept of abstract data type, it reduces the coding efforts. And it encapsulation ensures that data cannot be corrupted. So here we will use the concept of encapsulation. So which ensures that data cannot be corrupted. And abstract data type is based on principles of object oriented programming and software engineering. So the abstract data type is based on the principles of object oriented programming and software engineering. So this is about the abstract data type. Thank you.